Greetings, this is Gil Akos with Mode Lab. Today we'll be look, taking a look at what's new in Grasshopper version 9. From, from an updated look and feel to recently added functionality, Grasshopper is a rapidly evolving plugin within the Rhino 3D ecosystem. In this course, we will review the major updates to the Grasshopper interface, including the connection to Rhino viewports and other user input components. We will also explore new components for transforming geometry, managing data flow, and working with meshes. We will conclude with a focused look at the most powerful workflow for compiling, sharing, and protecting modules within your definitions, clusters. So the course topics that we're going to track through today are the new interface features, more ways that you can input in Grasshopper version 9, how we can go about managing and manipulating data within this version of Grasshopper. Furthermore, we're going to look at how we can array and map geometry from one location to another using transformations as well as looking at how the additional mesh components will allow us to explore working with meshes. And then lastly, we're gonna build and save our own clusters. So just as a recap of Grasshopper, where it is and where, it's, where it started and where it's going, um, Grasshopper by definition is a node-based algorithm editor. It is integrated with Rhino's 3D modeling tools to allow users to maintain history across modeling actions. So when we say point A and point B will be connected via a line, this is the kind of diagram we draw in order to define that set of history elements across the modeling actions. As a reminder, Grasshopper is linked to Rhino, and since uh, version, I believe, is 9.14, Grasshopper is now only working with Rhino 5, or it's only supported with Rhino 5. You can look back at uh, getting installs for older versions um, through the Grasshopper forum, which is what we see here on the right. But the um, current version, uh, which is up to 961 and um, after, will only be supported for Rhino 5. Largely, the Grasshopper interface has stayed the same um, for a while now um, in terms of the basic elements, which we can see here, the main menu bar, the file browser control over here on the right, um, and the main canvas, as well as where the objects, components, and parameters are stored within it. However, there's some interesting new functionality, as well as um, additional tools that are found within the menus, as well as uh, the icons here along the uh, canvas toolbar that really enable us to customize Grasshopper for our usage on an everyday basis.